What you giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Purple Tarot 2222, and today is a pick a card reading. Messages from your ancestors. So today we're talking for, about messages from your ancestors. There's three piles, pick one. A few seconds, because we've only got 10 minutes. First pile has my amethyst stone in it with my, with my pink rose. Second is my clear quartz wand, and my third is my brown tiger's eye. Pick people. Okay, pile number one. So messages from your ancestors, pile number one. Let's see what your ancestors have to say to you. Pile number one. Pink rose with my amethyst beautiful ball. First card out. Can you see that? It's forgiveness. Forgiveness. There's some people in your life that you need to forgive. Right now you are stagnated. Your growth is stunted. Your money stopped. Even some of your love life has stopped. It's stagnant. Because you're harboring hate. You're harboring all sorts of bad traumas that happened to you in the past and you haven't let go of them. You haven't forgiven your parents, haven't forgiven some friends, haven't forgiven some family members that hurt you, and you haven't forgiven your abuser. I'm not saying that you've got to say forgive, but you have to let go. The angels are asking you, your ancestors are asking you to forgive. Forgiveness is a must in this season. Because as you forgive, your blessings get released. Your vibrations get raised. Because right now you're in a low vibrational state. Making up every day in the past. We live in the past. Can't get past the past. Forgiveness is coming in. You need to forgive. The next card out is the Six of Wands. So some of you are going to be recognised once you start to forgive. This is the Garnet Stone. I am proud of what I achieve and accept my re my rewards. So I am proud of what I achieve and accept my rewards. That means you're going to be rewarded. So it's time to forgive. Because your ancestors are saying that God and Spirit and the angels want to bless you. But you're harboring some bad feelings, bad thoughts towards people or a person. And it's time to let go. The angel Teresa is coming in to back up the ancestors. They say, it's time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs. But now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Part number one, it's time for you to look after yourself. Look at this. This is why... You can't forgive. Someone hurt you. Or is still hurting you. It's either forgive or leave. Forgive and let go. Forgive and try again. Whatever your circumstances, your ancestors are asking you to forgive. Whether you forgive and stay, it's up to you. But you can forgive and leave. You can forgive from afar. But they're asking you to forgive. Within, forgive. You don't need to pick up a phone. Forgive. Because as you release that energy, all that toxic energy, new, fresh, abundant energy comes in to replace it. Because someone around you, or who was around you, is wearing a false self mask in your relationship. So a lot of you need to forgive an ex, an ex-partner, ex-family member, ex-friend ex-co-worker, ex-boss, someone who did you dirty, who was bad mind as fuck. But I say it's your ex. Can you see the two of cups? Once you release your ex, or that partner that hurt you, stabbed you in your heart, look what's gonna come in for you, part number one. Your two of cups, new love, solid love, divinely guided love, bringing in from your ancestors. They're bringing in your soulmate, bringing in your other half, the one that's going to stay forever.
Supply number one, let me quickly move on, getting a bit lost for time here. Supply number two, it's the clear quartz ones, right? Your first card out is you need to learn to trust. You've lost trust in everything, everyone and the system, God, everything. Your ancestors are asking you to trust back in God, in spirit and in them, and then in yourself. Well, how about starting with yourself? Believing and trusting in yourself, trusting in your intuition and your instincts, that gut feeling that tells you that someone's doing you dirty, something's not right, or this is the way to go, this is the path that you need to take, you need to leave that job and start something else. Whatever it is, you need to trust that gut feeling, that intuition that's speaking to you that you've been ignoring. The Four of Pentacles is coming in. It says, I trust, I am always safe and protected. Do you see the word trust again? So it's asking you to trust in God and spirit and the ancestors that they are watching over you and your household and your family that are not with you. And the ones that have passed over, they are protecting you. They've been protecting you from things you haven't seen. You think that you're alone, but they have come to show you that you're not alone. They need you to trust in them, that there is a bigger purpose for your life. The road that you're on right now, you're meant to go through. But brighter days is coming right through your storm, if you just trust and believe and keep strong. The Archangel Michael himself has come in to reassure some of you here. I am with you, giving you courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So I said it, people. Some of you need to get the fuck out of that nine to five and get on your divine life purpose. You know what it is, but you're scared. I also was scared, but you just have to do it. Trust in God, trust in spirit that they won't steer you wrong. They will provide for you and your family. Some of you, there's a past life relationship that's coming in, they're coming back. So look out for them in a month of June, part number two your ex or a childhood friend or someone you've known before is coming in and fuck that they're coming in fast look at that on a the chariot they are coming in fast people so number two look out for that shit someone's coming back into your life i don't know if you want them to but they're coming part number three my tiger's eye recovery so part number three, some of you have been sick, sick with different illnesses, mental illnesses, but a lot of your illnesses have come from your mental swords. You haven't let go of certain things and now it's affected your health. Your health is failing, your mental health is poor, you have anxiety, but God and Spirit is saying, don't worry. Even the job that you lost, the house that you lost, the marriage that you lost, the children that you lost. Your ancestors are saying, God and Spirit is working on your behalf. They are about to recover everything for you. So the first card out is a hope to reassure you that they're about to recover everything that the devil stole from you. And look how fast it's gonna happen. Here comes another chariot, another motherfucking chariot, people. Sorry for the swearing. It says, I go forward with confidence. I go forward with confidence, people. So it's telling you to pick your head up. I know you have anxiety, you're scared, but it's saying to have confidence in this time, believe in yourself. The angel, Adriana, is saying to you, I am leading you towards the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps. I am communicating through your intuition, through thoughts and dreams. So you've been getting downloads, you've been getting thoughts, dreams, things coming to you, it's your intuition, that's your ancestors speaking to you, that's the angels and God trying to get through to you. Why aren't you paying attention, part number three? The next card out, they want to help sort out your finances and career. Because for some of you, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You're arguing constantly over loss 
of money, no money, lack. But you both need to stand still and start trusting in your ancestors, the divine God and spirit. Use your intuition and the answers will come, the answers to your prayers. Part number three, you have competition, people fighting you, family, friends, co-workers, stopping your money. You know who they are. Eradicate them. That's what I've got to tell you. Don't pay them no mind. You've got your lane. Stop competing. Keep focused on your intent. Set your intention straight. Do not do nothing with bad intentions because what you put out is what will come back to you. They're trying to copy you. They're trying to copy everything that you do. But don't watch no face, as my mum would say. Just keep your eye on the prize. And you will win. And your last card out. I told you you will win. Look at that as you watch your money grow. Grow up in the bank. Grow, grow, grow. And that's the shit that you're doing. About to do. So part number three, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the competition. Don't worry about what it looks like. You're going to be a o k. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Collective. I'm out of here, because my 10 minutes is probably about up. So this is your girl, D-Vega, Tyrant2222, two, 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 sending you all love, light, and positivity. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta.